This is for Jim Steele. We're gonna be replacing this driveway gate. The left side post here is really solid, so we're gonna probably leave this one because there's no need to take that out. It's about 104 inches wide, it's 79 inches tall. We're gonna do a double swing gate here. We're gonna have a locking cane bolt so that they can't reach underneath because this is gonna to need to have a gap on it because there is a slope going uphill. This post on this side, unfortunately, is pretty wobbly, so we're gonna have to dig this one out. I pushed it right now and it's moving around. So that one's, but the other side will be fine meeting in the middle there's not going to be like a pedestrian gate or anything it'll be like 56 inches each panel double swing steel frame inch and a half tubing the boards are going to be vertical so the steel will be horizontal then we have the front yard it's another 104 inches wide she's going to be putting hedges in on this side so we're going to put a sliding driveway gate here 42 inches tall we might go a little taller. It's up to her to let us know whether she wants the 50% visibility, but we haven't decided that yet. The, head, the hedges are going to go in front, and the gate will slide right behind here. We're going to do the traditional pads of concrete instead of doing an entire trench. Then this gate over here, we're going to do 42 inches tall. It's 58 inches wide, but we need steel posts on both sides, probably a 3x3 three three or 4x4 four four on both sides and then 42 inches tall probably vertical just to match whatever pattern we're doing with the driveway gate in the back